Hi, this is Bill Bars with another edition from the Multi-Sizer How-To Video Series. Uh, today we're going to discuss how to run a control. Now in the last video you saw how to create an SOP uh, by creating an SOM and a preference file, combining those two and creating an SOP. And this is the second part of that video where we're actually going to run the control. Uh, you're going to need your L10, which is your 10 micron control standard. You're going to need about 200 milliliters of clean isoton 2, just like we specified in the SOM. Uh, of course, then you get your assay sheet from your control standard. You're basically going to add about 25 to 35 drops of the control standard to the beaker. Once that's done, you're going to load the beaker onto the platform. Make sure it's fully pressed all the way to the left. Then you're going to lift the platform up to make sure that the aperture tube and the stir aren't engaged. They're all the way into the fluid with no interruptions. Once it's locked into place, you're going to close the door and the stir will start its motion. We uh, have already set it up properly within the software to make sure that it accommodates the 200 mil beaker and the stir is in the correct location. Once that's done, now we're ready to go back to the software where we have already loaded our SOP that says 10 micron demo and we're ready to press start. After the run is complete, you're going to see a distribution and response, much like the one you see on the screen right here. And this is what you're going to show to the customer to demonstrate the instrument's capability and its repeatability and accuracy. This concludes another episode of the Multi-Sizer How-To Video Series. I'm Bill Bars reporting.